draw the outline, give yourself something to work with, compare it to the original, try to make it as realistic as possible, but don't fret it yet. Then take out your transform tool, start shifting things around, and then blend to your heart's desire. Hey, welcome to more speed art. This here is Jacob chilling out at a park with a towel over his shoulders. This picture you're seeing on the left is already heavily edited, to be honest with y'all, but just for contrast and highlights and such. This picture originally had such dark shadows, you could barely tell where his left eye started unless you zoomed in really hard. So that's partially why I wanted to draw it. Awesome contrast, great subject, interesting pose, and a chance to make something more pleasing to look at than the original. One thing I've been struggling with with these realistic portraits is blending every everything out so hard, my paintings look like they're made out of plastic. One reason this is a problem is because I still like having somewhat harsh outlines, which being blended to death removes. Another reason this is a problem is because humans have variation in their skin, so when I blend it all together, it makes the skin look muted and gray, which I mean obviously is how the skin started out and I'm painting anyway, but yeah. So putting color variation into the face is an important way to make it look a little bit less like plastic. Look at the left side of this picture. Little pieces of Jacob's skin, like just inside his nose and his upper lip, just underneath his lower lip, and the inner corner of the eye all have a sort of glowy, orangish look. Adding that in made it look so much better. Before, I just had it shaded dark. But lighting up and making it actually glow, yeah, that was good stuff. One of my favorite parts about digital art is when I get the portrait so close to the original picture that I can't tell what I need to change next. So I drag my painting on top of the picture and try to see where the problems are just by covering and then uncovering my old picture. It's a really good way to see how close I've come, and it always proves to be interesting. Sometimes I worry that it's kind of cheating, but sometimes I feel like maybe it's just using my resources. Putting color into this kind of grayscale drawing is really easy, but it always gives me a little anxiety because I don't have any surrounding color in the drawing. It's just white. That makes it scary to try to assume how light or dark someone's skin would be in the given light and what kind of colors would be reflecting off of the skin. It never looks just as right as the picture because the picture has a background for context. At some point here, I tried duplicating my entire transparent drawing to make the lines darker, but that duplicated all the shading too, which made everything look extremely muddy. So I tried erasing the shading on the duplicated layer, and that was a terrible idea, so I went to just I finally just went back and manually made all the lines I wanted to be darker, darker. This painting took me about six hours. I drew it in four hours and then just fiddle sticked over it for another two hours because I'm my own worst critic. But I think it turned out great. This is definitely my favorite out of all the drawings I've ever done in my entire life. Oh yeah, and I finished this right before Jacob's actual birthday, so I ended up giving this painting to him as a gift, and then I filmed his reaction, which y'all will get to see in a second. Da 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 da! It's a, um, it's a sketch. Or not a sketch, it's a drawing of me. <laughs> and it's amazing! Uh, I wonder who it's from. It was on. That's pretty cool. You did that on the computer, yeah. right? Yeah, thank you. Is it based off an image or. Yeah. An image I took. Y'all just know how much you want a picture of yourself. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> you should get a picture of yourself painted on the it's ceiling great. above your bed. <laughs> you can, like, go to sleep, yeah, just yourself. take that, scan it, and then just put like a yeah. poster of it. <laughs>